I think there's maybe a little bit of English pride in our language that we think everything great's in the English, and it's not. There's amazing works. We got two of them right here. Number one is a book called Humility and the Elevation of the Mind to God. A Kempis wrote this short, very short reflection. You can read it in an hour and a half on the virtue of humility and how it penetrates everything in your life. Solitude and silence, the cloister of the heart. Now, we know that a lot of these early authors wrote things for religious life, monks, nuns, but it applies to us extremely well. How can we, in our hectic, fran frantic world with our cell phones and you know, driving carpool everywhere with the kids and just all the chaos that we have, how do we find solitude and silence in our life? A Tale of Death and Glory, The Acts of St. Sebastian and His Companions, written by St. Ambrose. So this is a book written by a saint about a saint. But we often don't know the full story of how St. Sebastian was martyred and why, and this will tell you, and it's just, it's just wonderful. Lastly, we have one of my favorite books that Tan publishes, and we publish a lot of books. The Paradise of the Soul, 42 Virtues to Reach Heaven. It's just such a wonderful two or three minute read each day on these virtues. And you know, especially a well-formed Catholic, you think, oh, I know what charity is. I know what hope and faith, and I know what these are. Do you really? Boy, this is a examination of conscience. This one, this one will really make you think twice about your level of virtue. And I think that's what we need. It's an act of humility to read it.